baseline reaction video. You guys have been enjoying it so much that today I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on your Mac. Before we start, the Mac OS that allows you to use a reaction on the Mac is called Sonoma. And this is how you find what Mac OS you've got installed on your Mac. First step is pretty simple. Move to the top corner where you've got your Apple symbol and then go about this Mac and then follow the screen about this Mac. And then this is where I can find Mac OS Sonoma 14.3.1. Let's start a FaceTime call. That's me in the corner. You will notice that if I was to start with a reaction, in this case, it doesn't work because I need to make a tiny tweak. It should work automatically, but if it doesn't, what you want to do is this. Move your cursor where you've got that share option. And this is where we want to enable the reactions. So I'm going to move my cursor down here. And this is where you will notice that if I was to expand that drop down list, I can just place my reaction there by just clicking into it and that will action it. But what we want to do is to make it work with the gesture. So I will enable the reactions and let's test it out. Confetti it is. So let's go back to that location and let's play with something else, Studio Light. I'm going to enable that and you can see what's happening in the background like that. The way the light is kissing my face is definitely different if I have that enabled. Then you get the drop down list, which will allow us to play with intensity of how that is being worked out. So I'm just going to leave it about there because I'm happy with it. And then what's the other thing we can have a look at? The portrait mode. So essentially, if I enable this, what will happen is that I've got my background blurred. Just like that, similar to what I've just done now, I've got the option to sort of like increase or decrease the amount of blur that I've got in my image. You could also change the camera you're currently using to capture yourself as a presenter. So in this case, I want to use my Sony as the main camera. So I will click that, choose CamLink, which is what I'm currently using to connect my Mac to my camera. And then this is me using a different camera to be able to see what's going on. Completely different scenario, I'm aware, but I would like to show you the last feature, which is the presenter overlay. Now I will move to the screen. Now I have got Affinity Design open and I'm doing a presentation of the thumbnail that I'm working on with a team member of mine. So I will go to my share option, tap that, and then this is where I can find my presenter overlay options. The first one is the small. And what I like about that is that it's making me pop out in that corner, which is really nice. And it does an amazing job without having a green screen. So I can decide to be there. I can move myself wherever in the screen and it does it really flawlessly. It almost looks like I'm popping out from that circle, so which is really cool. But however, what I really like is that we've got also the other option, which is large. Let me tap large. Have a look at this. It gives it a new level. It gives depth. I can point at my presentation. It makes it more, I would say, interactive. If you're not happy to have it in that corner, there's nothing stopping you saying. It's just a tap away. There's a tap here where you've got those two arrows. I can tap there and it moves it to the opposite side where I can still point at things. Now, the preview that you're currently seeing on my screen is just a uh, for indication. And I, I think it's quite useful if you're so like presenting this way because you know exactly where you're pointing at compared to not having it. But however, the person at the opposite side of the phone call will not be able to see that preview. It's just going to be seeing you doing things in the right way. So I really liked this picture. Let me know what you think and I'll see you shortly. By now, you should be able to take your FaceTime call or presentation to the next level. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more.